I am Ra. I greet you in the love and the light of the infinite creator. We communicate now. Question 19.1 Questioner, we are concerned in this communication with the evolution of mind, body and spirit. It seems to me that a good place to start would be the transition from the second to the third density, then to investigate in detail the evolution of third density entities of Earth, paying particular attention to the mechanisms which help or hinder that evolution. Do all entities make a transition from second to third density, or are there some entities who have never gone through this transition? Answer, I am Ra. Your question presumes the space-time continuum understandings of the intelligent energy which animates your illusion. Within the context of this illusion we may say that there are some that do not transfer from one particular density to another, for the continuum is finite. In the understanding which we have of the universe or creation as one infinite being, its heart beating as alive in its own intelligent energy, it merely is one beat of the heart of this intelligence from creation to creation. In this context each and every entity of consciousness has his will experienced experiencing experience each and every density. Question 19.2 Questioner, let's take the point at which an individualized entity of second density is ready for transition to third. Is this second density being what we would call animal? Answer, I am Ra. There are three types of second density entities which become, shall we say, unspirited. The first is the animal. This is the most predominant. The second is the vegetable, most especially that which you call, sound vibration complex. 3. These entities are capable of giving and receiving enough love to become individualized. The third is mineral. Occasionally a certain location place, as you may call it, becomes energized to individuality through the love it receives and gives in relationship to a third density entity which is in relationship to it. This is the least common transition. Question 19.3 Questioner, when this transition from second to third density takes place, how does the entity, whether it be animal, vegetable, tree, or mineral, become unspirited? Answer, I am Ra. Entities do not become unspirited. They become aware of the intelligent energy within each portion, cell, or atom, as you may call it, of its beingness. This awareness is that which is awareness of that already given. From the infinite come all densities. The self-awareness comes from within given the catalyst of certain experiences understanding, as we may call this particular energy, the upward spiraling of the cell or atom or consciousness. You may then see that there is an inevitable pull toward the, what you may call, eventual realization of self. Question 19.4 Questioner, then after the transition into the third density, am I correct in assuming, we'll take Earth as an example, the entities would then look like us? They would be in human form. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct, taking your planetary sphere as an example. Question 19.5 Questioner, when the first second density entities became third density on this planet, was this with the help of the transfer of beings from Mars, or were there second density beings who transferred into third density with no outside influence? Answer, I am Ra. There were some second density entities which made the graduation into third density with no outside stimulus but only the efficient use of experience. Others of your planetary second density joined the third density cycle due to harvesting efforts by the same sort of sending of vibratory aid as those of the Confederation send you now. This communication was, however, telepathic rather than telepathic vocal or telepathic written due to the nature of second density beings. Question 19.6 Questioner, who sent the aid to the second density beings? Answer, I am Ra. We call ourselves the Confederation of Planets in the service of the Infinite Creator. This is a simplification in order to ease the difficulty of understanding among your people. We hesitate to use the term, sound vibration, understanding, but it is closest to our meaning. Question 19.7 Questioner, then did this second density to third density transition take place 75,000 years ago? Approximately? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 19.8. Questioner, where did the second density beings get physical vehicles of third density type to incarnate into? Answer, I am Ra. 
There were among those upon this second density plane those forms which when exposed to third density vibrations became the third density, as you would call the sound vibration, human entities. That is, there was loss of body hair, as you would call it, the clothing of the body to protect it, the changing of the structure of the neck, jaw, and forehead in order to allow the easy vocalization, and the larger cranial development characteristic of third density needs. This was a normal transfiguration. Question 19.9. Questioner, over how long a period of time was this transfiguration? It must have been very short. Answer, I am Ra. The assumption is correct, in our terms at least, within a generation and one half, as you know these things. Those who had been harvested of this planet were able to use the newly created physical complex of chemical elements suitable for third density lessons. Question 19.10 Questioner, can you tell me how this newly created physical complex was suited to third density lessons and what those lessons were? Answer, I am Ra. There is one necessity for third density. That necessity is self-awareness, or self-consciousness. In order to be capable of such, this chemical complex of body must be capable of abstract thought. Thus, the fundamental necessity is the combination of rational and intuitive thinking. This was transitory in the second density forms operating largely upon intuition which proved through practice to yield results. The third density mind was capable of processing information in such a way as to think abstractly and in what could be termed useless ways in the sense of survival. This is the primary requisite. They are other important ingredients the necessity for a weaker physical vehicle to encourage the use of the mind, the development of the already present awareness of the social complex. These also being necessary, the further development of physical dexterity in the sense of the hand, as you call this portion of your body complex. Question 19.11 Questioner, this seems to be a carefully planned or engineered stage of development. Can you tell me anything of the origin of this plan or its development? Answer, I am Ra. We go back to previous information. Consider and remember the discussion of the Logos. With the primal distortion of free will, each galaxy developed its own Logos. This Logos has complete free will in determining the paths of intelligent energy which promote the lessons of each of the densities given the conditions of the planetary spheres and the sun bodies. Question 19.12 Questioner, I will make a statement then of my understanding and ask you if I am correct. There is a, what I would call, physical catalyst operating at all times upon the entities in third density. I assume this operates approximately the same way in second density. It is a catalyst which acts through what we call pain and emotion. It is the primary reason for the weakening of the physical body and the elimination of body hair, etc. so that this catalyst would act more strongly upon the mind and therefore create the evolutionary process. Answer, I am Ra. This is not entirely correct, although closely associated with the distortions of our understanding. Consider, if you will, the tree for instance. It is self-sufficient. Consider, if you will, the third density entity. It is self-sufficient only through difficulty and deprivation. It is difficult to learn alone for there is a built-in handicap, at once the great virtue and the great handicap of third density. That is the rational intuitive mind. Thus, the weakening of the physical vehicle, as you call it, was designed to distort entities towards a predisposition to deal with each other. Thus, the lessons which approach a knowing of love can be begun. This catalyst then is shared between peoples as an important part of each self's development as well as the experiences of the self in solitude and the synthesis of all experience through meditation. The quickest way to learn is to deal with other selves. This is a much greater catalyst than dealing with the self. Dealing with the self without other selves is akin to living without what you would call mirrors. Thus, the self cannot see the fruits of its beingness. Thus, each may aid each by reflection. This is also a primary reason for the weakening of the physical vehicle, as you call the physical complex.